Hey everyone, I'm Mark Morgan, and today we're going to take a look at the high school mid-state jazz trumpet audition music. Hyper Viper is written in a funk style. You'll notice that I'm using a backing track for these examples. I'll put a link in the description below to the tracks that I use. I think that it's helpful to use some kind of rhythm section when practicing these kinds of pieces because it helps you internalize the style and the groove. Also notice that I'm coming in on the fourth measure of the backing track. The first measure of this piece is actually a pickup measure. And you'll see that there isn't a specific tempo mark. I would say play this at a tempo ranging from 90 to 110 beats per minute. Whatever tempo you decide to use, make sure that it's a tempo where you can play cleanly. A lot of funk music is written with fast horn lines that have to be played very accurately. And I suggest checking out the Brecker Brothers, in particular the tunes from Skunk Funk, as well as anything from the Jerry Hay horn section. And these can be tracks from the Michael Jackson Off the Wall or Thriller albums. Earth, Wind & Fire and Tower of Power are also great bands to check out for this style of music. Now notice that there is an option for lead players to play the upper parts. You don't have to be a lead player to be in a jazz band, so if you don't feel like you have command of those upper register notes, feel free to play the lower octave. Even in the first measure, where there isn't a lower part written, I would say go ahead and play that down the octave instead of trying to play a wide interval. Going into the second measure, pay particular attention to the articulations throughout this piece. Some of the phrases in the beginning repeat at the end, but have different articulations marked. Make sure you have a distinction between these, and also pay particular attention to the rhythms. Especially in measures 2 and 3, make sure you play the dotted 8th 16th exactly in time. The shake in measure 5 can be a little difficult. Now, this is typically done with the lip or shaking the horn up to the next partial. If you can't play the shake cleanly, I would suggest leaving it out and just doing a sforzando and crescendoing through that note. Try to make a difference between the dynamics in measures 6 through 10. In measures 7 and 9, make sure that you're playing all the staccato notes very, very short and crisp. Think of biting the notes. In measure 13, notice the articulations marked on beat 4. It's the same notes from the beginning, but with a slightly different articulation. measure 16, you have a scoop into each one of these notes. There are different ways of doing this. But I use my lip to scoop into the notes, and you can practice this in a few different ways. I like to use what's called lip bending or pitch bending. You can also use a half valve technique. If you can't play the last two notes that the piece is written, play it down an octave. It's always better to play clean and accurate rather than attempting to play notes that you just can't hit. In the pocket is a straight ahead swing. There isn't a tempo marked, but when I see a tune like this, I think of the Count Basie Orchestra playing pieces like Basically Straight Ahead or Blues in Hosses Flat. On the backing track, notice I start in measure four. Now, that first measure is really a pickup measure. On measure two of this piece, you have four consecutive eighth notes. Those four eighth notes will tell me right away if somebody knows how to play in the jazz style or not. If someone is unfamiliar with playing in the style, they will overswing those eighth notes. It says swing, but what it really means is the bebop style. The first three eighth notes should be played long and the last one short. If you don't have command of the upper register, play the lower notes. Whichever register you decide to play in, make sure you're paying attention to the dynamics that are marked. The first nine measures should be played very boldly, like a full big band intro. 
In measure 10, you have to think about playing as a small group section, even though you're playing at a soft dynamic. Keep the intensity of the swing and don't lay back and allow the time to suffer. Take a look at the quarter note in measure 19. Typically quarter notes like this are going to be played short, but in this case, I'd play it long because you have the same line in measure 11 where it's marked long. Measure 24 is almost written as a trap, so watch out. A lot of players will put in an extra beat before jumping the octave to that high A flat. Make sure that you're in time and come right in on beat two. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have questions or would like to learn more about these styles, feel free to get in touch. I also have other videos on this channel teaching you how to become a better trumpet player, so be sure to check those out. So have fun working on these pieces and good luck at your audition.